The Episcopal Church opened its doors in 1900, the church of choice of many of Ocean City's pioneer families. The Presbyterian Church followed nine years later. Ella Dennis, the owner of the Dennis Hotel, was the organizer and most vocal supporter of this church. When I was a child, I guess she was dead by then, but there were tales of her all over town. And she had been here early on in, say, 1892. She built the Dennis Hotel down on Dorchester Street. And she's quite feisty and uh, opinionated woman. And uh, she was a good interview, though. People love to come and interview her. And one day uh, she did make the statement, and it has lasted all these 90-some years, that Ocean City was built by women, run by women, and the men are all henpecked. So that is uh, the way that we have pretty much felt about uh, the women in this town for many, many years, and it has carried over into today because there's still many, many women uh, running the hotels and running uh, businesses in this town. It's truly a woman's town. My mother and father were not in the hotel business, so um, I wasn't exposed to all the excitement of guests, uh, many guests in a hotel. My grandmother, when my mother was little, um, took in rumors in the summertime, and uh, as did many of the women in Ocean City in, in that day and time. Around the turn of the century, the, um, the town had very little to offer except for fishing. And the men throughout the state of Maryland and Delaware loved to come here and fish. But they weren't the wealthiest of people, and they really couldn't afford to stay in the grand old hotels that were on the boardwalk. And they wanted to bring their families. So what happened was the women in the town, in order to make egg money or pin money, just a little bit of extra money for their families, started to um, rent rooms. And what they did was they took the kids, and you will hear this throughout Ocean City's history, the way the children had to sleep in this town in the summertime. I mean, they liter your, your mother literally took your bedroom away from you, and you just slept anywhere. My mother tells of um, grandmother turning the kitchen table upside down at night and putting a quilt in it and a pillow, and that's where my mother slept. And my, my grandmother only had two or three rooms to rent. But uh, this was the way it was, and this was the way that almost every woman in town made extra money. Everyone rented rooms. Uh, it, was, it was very odd to live in a home that wasn't open to the public for rooms. <laughs>